Neutralization, Acids and Alkalis by kscience.com When an acid reacts with an alkali, a salt and water are always formed. This is a neutralization reaction. An acid always has a pH of below 7, whereas an alkali always has a pH of above 7. So when an acid and an alkali react, they form a neutral solution of a salt and water which has a pH of 7 exactly. So because the acid and alkali have become neutralized to form a neutral solution, the name of the chemical reaction, neutralization, has the word neutral in it. Because the acid and alkali have neutralized each other to form a neutral solution with a pH of 7. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. An example of an acid being neutralized by an alkali is hydrochloric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride and water. Remember, alkalis are just bases which are soluble in water, so alkalis are always metal hydroxides. The balance symbol equation is HCl, Aq for aqueous, plus NaOH, Aq for aqueous, reacts to form NaCl Aq for aqueous plus H2O alpha liquid. So to understand what actually happens when an acid is neutralized by an alkali, here we have a beaker and we have our HCl and NaOH which we put into the beaker. In this reacting mixture there's going to be hydrogen ions, chloride ions, sodium ions, and hydroxide ions. And we know it's the hydrogen ions which make the solution acidic, and it's the hydroxide ions which make the solution alkaline. These reactants then react where neutralization takes place. Neutralization is when the hydrogen ion forms a covalent bond with a hydroxide ion, forming a water molecule, and then dissolved in solution are the sodium ions and chloride ions, forming aqueous sodium chloride solution. We can now use an ionic equation to show what's happened in this neutralization reaction between an acid and an alkali. The ionic equation is H plus Aq for aqueous plus OH minus Aq for aqueous reacts to form H2O alpha liquid. A solution is only neutral if all the H plus and OH minus ions have reacted to form H2O. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Here we have a balanced symbol equation of the reaction we've just gone through, where hydrochloric acid reacts with sodium hydroxide to form sodium chloride and water. So let's say this reaction has taken place and after the reaction has finished in this beaker, we're left with water, sodium chloride solution, and we're still left with excess hydrogen ions. This means the solution has not been completely neutralized. Excess hydrogen ions means the solution is still acidic. Let's say we have a different scenario now, and again, the reaction is finished, and we're left with water, sodium chloride solution, but this time we have hydroxide ions left in solution. This means, again, the reaction hasn't been completely neutralized. Excess OH- ions means the solution is still alkaline. So because the reactants and products are colourless, no gas is formed, and the products are insoluble, this makes it difficult for the person carrying out their experiment to know 
when is the reaction finished? Therefore, we need an indicator to know when the reactants have been neutralized. And the reaction will be finished when the pH is 7. And this information will be given to us by using an indicator. Remember, the solution is only neutral when all the hydrogen ions and all the hydroxide ions have reacted to form water. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.